Well, first off, let me answer that with what's carryover. Uh, carryover is nothing more than how much money you had on the last day of the fiscal year. People sometimes make it a little more difficult than that, but that's really all it is. Just how much money did you have on 30 September when we opened up the new fiscal year? So when it comes to budgeting, we have to, we have to estimate how much carryover we're going to have. Uh, and people ask me for the magic formula, and unfortunately there is no magic formula. There is a best guess. And what you need to do is what I recommend is look at your current cash held, how much money do you currently have, and then project future spending and future income. Uh, the farther you are away from the fiscal year, the harder it is to calculate. But the closer you are, uh, I mean, it's almost August, so it was only four weeks left, or it's only eight weeks left in the year. So it's pretty easy to calculate what spending we're going to do in the next, in the next six or eight months, or six or eight weeks. So that's what you have to do. Um, we had one base one year estimate $50,000 carryover. And we looked at their cash held and they had $20,000. And it was the middle of August. And we said, where are you gonna get $30,000 in the next six weeks? And they said, we don't know. <laughs> okay, so if, there is some guessing involved, but that was too much. Uh, so it, my recommendation is estimate how much you're going to bring in, how much you're going to spend, and then round down. Because if you round down, you'll end up with more money than you thought you had. If you round up, you might, you might put your budget into turmoil. Uh, the second question I get is, is, how do I spend my carryover? And I like to use the analogy of, of carryover is like use or lose leave. On 30 September, you have 60 days leave. On 1 October, you're going to start accumulating another 30 days. If you want to spend your original 60 days, the first thing you have to do is use all 30 of this fiscal year's leave and then take more leave. Same thing with carryover. If I, if I want to spend my carryover, the first thing I have to do is spend everything I brought in this fiscal year or I'm going to bring in this fiscal year and then spend more. So if you want to spend your carryover, spend everything you bring in and then spend more. But be careful you don't overspend. You still have to watch your cash held to make sure you don't spend into the hole. Because if you spend into the hole, you will not be able to buy anything.